guys i hope you all are doing great with the start of the new year i have started a new routine for myself i had made few new year's resolutions for myself at the beginning of year 2023 and my new routine is based on to achieve these new year's resolutions so firstly what i did was to write down all the things that i wanted to achieve in 2023 or years coming ahead having a list makes it more concrete Next I converted my targets into doable or actionable items and made a daily to-do list and from there on I take some action each day to achieve my long-term goals simple isn't it <laughs> well it sounds very cliche but let's put it into perspective so one of my goals for year 2023 is to focus on my physical and inner development and well-being and I concluded that these four things I need to take care of and it's in order of their importance the first one is physical health second is mental health third is spiritual health and lastly financial health so first and foremost the most important thing for me is my physical well being being fit and healthy and nothing to do with my weight or shape purely being able to function better and for that i know i just need to prioritize myself and also be consistent with what i am doing that is going to the gym i have been going to the gym since a year now but honestly i have never been consistent because i have always given more importance to either buying weekly grocery or shooting or editing a video or cooking food time consuming food for my kids and my family and not prioritizing myself my health and i bet most of you guys are doing the same we as mothers want to keep everyone around us happy even if it means sacrificing our own needs but we need to understand that self care is not self indulgence self care is an act of survival god forbid but what if you are chronically sick tomorrow or something else happens to you the world will not stop it will go on even if you are sick so taking care of yourself first is unquestionably a priority which i have understood now so being fit is my resolution and going to the gym on daily basis is my action to achieve my long term goal by the way i take a break on wednesdays i try to go four times a week unless something urgent comes up for my mental health i am doing certain things as a mom you experience immense stress taking care of kids i am sure most of you would relate being a mom is challenging as you are constantly being interrupted sometimes we lack control of the situation having tantrum cries from our kids in middle of something important pretty much we have a lot of emotions involved and cortisol spikes leading to stress Also as a mother sometimes we tend to help our kids more than they need and thus they become dependent on us i am a culprit to that as well sometimes when we are rushing to get them out of the door we quickly make them wear clothes jackets shoes etc etc i used to do the same and realize that they didn't want it to do things on their own even on a holiday they wanted my assistance in everything which was very draining for me especially mentally So I decided that once we are back into the school routine 
आई विल वेक दैम आप फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स अर्ली एंड लेट दैम डू देर थिंग्स प्रीवियसली एवरी मॉर्निंग वॉज अ रश और अ जगल टू गेट दैम टू स्कूल ऑन टाइम बिकॉज आई वॉज इन चार्ज ऑफ गेटिंग किड्स रेडी बट नाउ आई हैव मेड दैम इन चार्ज ऑफ गेटिंग दैम सेल्स रेडी दे ब्रश द टीथ दैम सेल्स ड्रेस दैम सेल्स फ्रॉम क्लोथ्स टू सॉक्स टू हेयर टू वेरिंग शूज पैक दर बैग्स एंड चेक इफ दे हैव रेन कोट दे फोल्डर एंड अदर नेसेसरी थिंग्स इन द स्कूल बैग्स दे कम बैक होम एंड अनपैक दर बैग्स put the tiffin box in the sink for me to clean up and if there is a note from the teacher they would hand it over to me they take shower themselves with my minimal need uh, but yes they do need a little assistance with that but i'm sure they will get independent just bringing these few changes has relaxed my mind as previously i used to be after them to get ready as in their head it was my job now kids think it's their job and they have to do it in fact thani once mentioned while packing her bag in the morning that mama once i get my task out of the way i feel much relaxed and i can play freely otherwise that one outstanding job keeps creeping in my head <laughs> i was like welcome to mama's world child Another thing I do is that I have started taking relaxing yoga classes which is part of my gym membership. Previously I used to not attend this class as I only wanted to be slim and would rather prefer to run on the treadmill than do yoga. But now I do take this class to relax my mind. This is a full house class and each and every person is so rejuvenated and relaxed after taking self care Thursday yoga session. So even I have made it a priority now. Another change I made was doing online groceries or simply assigning grocery tasks to my husband and I took one responsibility of my plate and this was a big one. It used to give me a lot of back pain as well. So now I'm more relaxed as I know my husband will take care of the groceries every week. So I can spare more time towards my fitness or my another goals that I have set for myself. Third resolution is my spiritual health. Well, sometimes some things happen in life that you get more attracted to spirituality. Well, something similar happened with me as well, and one lesson that I learned that no one could help you in this life except God. He is the one who you should please, and not anyone else. Spirituality also gives you complete peace of mind, which you will not attain from anyone or anything external to you. Also it makes you emotionally strong and now you are not affected much with what people say or think about you. I have started doing Hanuman Chalisa every day at least few times and I am seeing amazing changes in my emotional health and happiness. There are few life lessons that I have learned over the years and I'd like to share them with you. The first one being do not hold grudges. It only ends up consuming you and not the other person. So let it go. It always reminds me of the Frozen song. Let it go. Let it go. Don't hold it back anymore. Anyways, 
The second one is observe life. Do not absorb it, but observe it. Have healthy detachment. See everything, be part of everything, but do not get consumed by it. The third one is meditation. Meditation cleanses your mind and gets rid of negative emotions, similar to how bathing cleans your skins and get rid of bad odors. So just like five minutes shower, do five minutes of meditation every day and you will have more control over your emotions as you are clearing the bad energies or the negative energies or emotions on daily basis. The last one being distancing yourself from people who do not value or respect you. It's actually a win, not your loss. So give these life lessons a thought. I'm sure there'll be many more life lessons that I'll be learning along my journey. But these are few things that I always keep in my mind. So last resolution is my financial well-being. As a girl, a woman, a mother, I can say that we should be financially independent as when you are in a bad situation in life, only your financial security will give you hope and strength. Each girl should be financially independent no matter you are a wife, a mum, or a homemaker as your financial independence is the only thing you can fall back on. So I decided that 2023 onwards, I want to make YouTube a career, a priority, a source of income. I used to do YouTube just out of interest, but now I want to take it more seriously and take it as a job. And my husband is in full support of this decision too. So now after dropping my kids, I go straight to the gym as my physical and mental health is utmost important. I come back home, take shower and do my puja and hanuman chalisa as my spiritual uh, fitness is next important for me. Then I will eat and sit in my office and work for 2-3 hours straight till 2.30 or quarter to 3 before I um, go and pick my kids up. This is my part time job so when I am at work I do not think about pending chores, outstanding laundry, I do not take any calls, eat leftover food, do not worry about what to cook tonight or indulge into social media. My husband mentioned that if you would be working at a firm or for some another person, would you actually drop kids and go straight to work or rather come home to finish some chores? <laughs> well, that thing stayed with me and that's what I follow. I forget about homemaking, about cooking, about what will be the menu for tonight, etc, etc. And only focus on my job. And once the clock hits 2.30, I get up. Get ready, leave to pick my kids up from school. We got time, but no money. But there ain't nobody stopping us. We got bills, but no dollars. But no, we don't really give up. No, we don't really give up. Living for the ray of light. Life can be beautiful. Life can be beautiful. Going all the way to Once kids are back home, I forget about my job and focus on my kids and home. So now I am not a working woman but only a mum and a homemaker. I get kids started with the routine of showering or homework. They are free to play or ride their bicycle outside in fresh air. 
but not inside as inside they only sit and do craft and make a mess and also 60 minutes of physical activity a day is recommended for kids so i encourage them to go out and play outside Once they are inside, I would sit and make them study for 30 minutes as I want to get their homework or home reading out of the way now itself. Previously, we used to sit and read at bedtime, but now Monday to Thursday, they sleep with their daddy as I do my one hour of night shift after kids go to bed. Every night, I like to plan my next day, have a to-do list ready so that I am up and running. This is quiet time so I write down my thoughts which eventually become part of my video like this one and I share it with you all. While kids are busy in their routine, I will get dinner sorted. I opt for quick recipes, something that only takes 30-40 minutes as on weekdays I do not want to spend a lot of time making special foods. Special foods and variety can wait for the weekend. Also, once dinner is done and dusted, I will clean up the kitchen, plan on next day's meal for dinner and kids lunchbox. I will also rest for a little bit and do things that I love doing. Diffuser is one of them. I love to put essential oils in the diffuser and turn it on and just sit in between my plans like you know in my drawing room and just relax. Once I'm done relaxing, I would go back to the kitchen and make sure my kitchen is pick a span at night as otherwise dirty dishes will interrupt with my morning routine next day and whole day I will be lagging behind. So I reset my kitchen every night so as I get a fresh kitchen each morning to work with. Now it's my night shift time. I am tired but there is one important thing that I need to do which is plan my next day. If I have a list of tasks on hand then I have observed that my day is super productive and I can get tasks done at speed as well. So after kids go to bed, I sit again in the office and plan my work for the next day. If I need to shoot, edit, script, create thumbnail or description or do I need to buy some supplies for the shoot etc etc. I write down everything. It helps me in two ways. One, it's off my head. So I can sleep better and get a good quality of sleep rather than just thinking about what needs to be done the next day and have a light sleep or REM sleep. Second, having a to-do list makes my goals or the um, task concrete. I actually achieve them as these are my action items for today and all I worry about is these items and not anything else. So I can focus on them. By the time all these things happen, I am super duper tired. It's night time. It's around 9.30 or 10ish when I go to bed. But once I go to the bed, I crash. I'm like, I'm dead, not asleep. But another day comes, another start, another busy and productive day and life goes on. So this way, I am working on my resolutions for 2023, step by step, day by day. And now, two months down the line, if I check my resolutions back, yes, I am working to achieve everything that I have put down on a pen and paper. I repeat, I am working towards achieving them and of course I have not achieved them yet. I want to go at a steady but consistent pace so that I can see results and not spend uh, 30 hours in one week and not even spend like 2 hours the week after. Let's be tortoise and not a hare. So guys, my days are busy tiring sometimes i do feel i have no energy i do not want to carry on but those days i take a break i do nothing but sleep of course not sleep the entire day but i take a good nap if i am tired and stressed i sleep that day as sleep is the only thing that helps me reduce stress or recover from tiredness i keep minimum contact with social media as it only wastes time and gets you nowhere social media is not me time but it's actually addictive and it 
skills time that otherwise would have been productive. This routine has a balance of everything. I live as a working woman, I live as a mum and a homemaker and I love doing what I'm doing and would not like to change even a bit of my current routine for anything else. Routine makes you feel more organized and setting a consistent routine has always been a struggle for me in the past. Now so that I have this busy and productive daily routine, all I wish, fingers crossed, that I stick to it for years to come and I finally see fruits of working towards my goal. So guys, this is how my current routine looks like but to achieve this kind of weekday, I have to do a lot of weekend prep so hit a like on this video if you want to see my weekend routine and how I reset my home for a productive and busy week ahead. Your one like can help my channel grow faster. So please hit that like button and do me a favor and I really thank you for that in advance. I will sign off on this note and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now. There's no tomorrow, acting like this.